why we chase wealth but end up feeling trapped by it? What if the path to true freedom isn't about having more but actually letting go? Imagine a life where your time, energy, and thoughts are no longer cluttered. Minimalism isn't just about decluttering your closet. It's a philosophy that challenges the way we view wealth and happiness. This idea has been explored by thinkers from ancient Stoics to modern authors like Joshua Becker and Marie Kondo, each one proving that when we strip away the excess, what's left is true freedom, peace, and yes, wealth. Most people think of when they hear minimalism, getting rid of things. But there's a deeper question here. Why do we feel the need to acquire in the first place? One of my friend is successful software engineer. He had the big house, the fancy car, and every new tech gadget on the market. But instead of feeling satisfied, he felt burdened, constantly paying for things he no longer enjoyed. Finally, he downsized his house, sold his second car, and got rid of non-essentials. What he found was profound. Less clutter, less debt, more peace. Sometimes we don't own our things, our things own us. By letting go of the material, we create space for what truly matters. How often do we do things just to impress others? Social media has amplified this, with millions of people living for likes. But here's a radical thought. What if you stop trying to please everyone? Seeking approval binds us to others' expectations. By letting go, we live a life true to ourselves. In our society, we're taught that more equals success. Bigger homes, fancier cars, designer clothes, these things are often seen as symbols of achievement. But is this really the case? Let's take a closer look. Many people in the world are in consumer debt. Many people are working themselves to the bone to maintain an ever-growing list of material possessions. But at what cost? The true cost of consumerism isn't just monetary, it's emotional. The more we accumulate, the more we stress about protecting and maintaining it all. True wealth is not about accumulation, it's about freedom. The less you own, the less you have to worry about. Minimalism isn't just about reducing physical clutter, it's about letting go of the mental clutter too. Take Steve Jobs, for instance. The late Apple co-founder was famous for his minimalist approach, not just in design, but in his lifestyle. His wardrobe was simplified to a black turtleneck, jeans, and sneakers. Why? Because he understood that the more you focus on the essentials, the more mental energy you free up for what truly matters. Now, let's talk about the financial side of minimalism. You might think that minimalism means sacrificing comfort or luxury, but it's actually the opposite. By focusing on your essential needs, you can spend your money more wisely and invest in things that will bring long-term returns. Consider the FIRE movement, which is financial independence. Retire early, which is all about living frugally and investing smartly to retire early. People in the FIRE community often practice minimalism by cutting out unnecessary expenses like dining out, subscription services, and impulse shopping. Instead, they prioritize saving and investing often living on 50% or less of their income. The Taoist philosopher Lao Tzu once said, if you overvalue possessions, people will begin to steal. In today's world, this can be applied to the pressure we place on ourselves to live up to social expectations. Owning more doesn't make us more worthy, and constantly chasing status only adds to our stress. Minimalism isn't just about physical possessions or financial decisions. It's also about mental peace. How much of your time do you spend stressing about things outside of your control? Do you constantly feel the need to compare yourself to others? Ryan Holidays in his The Obstacle is the Way book teaches us that challenges and failures are stepping stones, not dead ends, but holding on to regret can keep us stuck. Ryan shares the story of Thomas Edison, who didn't mourn when his factory burned down. Instead, he famously said, thank goodness all our mistakes were burned up. He rebuilt with newfound clarity. Mistakes are lessons in disguise. Let them guide you, not define you. Releasing past regrets reduces stress and opens the door to new opportunities. By adopting a minimalist mindset, you can focus on what's truly important, your happiness, your health, and your relationships. 
When you stop worrying about what you don't have, you'll realize just how much you already have to be grateful for. True wealth is not in the amount of things you own, but in the freedom you gain by owning less. Whether it's simplifying your finances, your home, or your mindset, the power of minimalism is that it allows you to focus on what truly matters. By embracing the philosophy of less is more, you unlock a life filled with purpose, peace, and abundance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more insightful content, and share your thoughts on minimalism in the comments below. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for joining us today. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.